Hey everyone and welcome to this midweek update of the vlog and today we're going to be doing a product re re review even. Yes we're going to be reviewing the Boscam R2 digital mirror dash cam camera stroke mirror and we're going to be doing an unboxing then we're going to be trying it out in the car to see what it looks like in the flesh so let's not waste any time let's get down and unbox this product. So if you're unaware of Boscam, Boscam do a number of uh, reversing dashboard cameras and um, head-up display um, systems. Been doing it for a while. There is an R1 version of this mirror and this now is the latest version that has become available. Box is well presented. It's kind of almost Apple-like in its appearance. Um, and really sort of comes across as quite a professional setup. Let's take this box apart and see what's inside. Right, so doing this one-handed, taking the box apart, you see that the box is very well presented. Inside, you get an, uh, an extended, decent warranty. And then we have the mirror itself. Comes in a very well protective case. And let's just take a quick look at the mirror. So, in the mirror, you've got a um, USB C adapter for charging, it has um, an AV um, audio um, plug in for external mics, and then we've got our, our micro SD slot at the top, and then something else which I'm not quite familiar with. But on the back of the mirror as well, you've got your grab hooks and this is where you place the mirror and then you've got some plastic hooks to um, secure it to the mirror and then here's your camera which is maneuverable as well. So that's your forward facing camera. Looking further into the box, we have our two clips. That's how we secure it to the mirror. We then have our phone charger. So that's what we plug into our accessory socket. This kit also comes with a reversing camera, which is here. And we'll take a look at that in detail in a minute, but that also comes with all the wiring that you need to get that up and running, plus some additional uh, fasteners, etc., and sticky back kit as well. So very well put together kit. Let's take a look at some of this stuff in more detail. So here's the kit in its entirety. So we have our main loom here. This is how we connect um, to the car. And we then have, um, this is for the camera, the rear mounting camera, okay? Um, and what I didn't know that this kit comes with, it comes with a GPS receiver as well. So that's used to record exactly at what location your incident occurred if you have recorded that so you can track where you were at the time of the incident to add even more evidence which is really good to see. Um, the camera can be mounted inside the car or outside the car and it comes with two different mounts as well so this goes on to the, your, your number plate either behind or in front and then the camera would sit here so the number plate will sit in front of it and then will sit on the edge out of sight or you can place it inside the car um, and, and bolt it in that way. We're gonna place ours inside the car and we're just going to do a, a soft fit for now. But of course the GPS as well, that is required. You then also, this kit comes with a reversing camera um, and you can have that activated by connecting this wire to one of your reversing lights and that will activate the camera when you are reversing and will give you some grid lines as well. So, a very self-explanatory kit. Let's get this in the car. We're gonna soft fit this and then we'll see how we get on. So as you can see, the standard mirror for a Fiesta is, is pretty basic. This one has the mechanical anti-glare rather than any electronic one. So putting this in is an improvement. However, when it sits on the mirror, because of the camera on this side, it obviously there's gonna be a slight little gap, but that shouldn't be an issue. So let's secure this into place. We'll plug everything in and then we'll see how she looks. Okay, so here's a mirror fully mounted and you can use the mirror as a conventional mirror if you want to. But when you start up, basically we start the car up and then the mirror will boot up within a few seconds. There you go. 
and then we get an instant rear view. Now the rear view isn't very good because where I've positioned the camera temporarily, it is um, in a poor location, but you can generally see the outside of the vehicle and with some fine tuning, we can get that mirror as good as the rear view mirror, but only better, I think. Um, the camera starts recording straight away. You can see we've got the time and date. There are some settings that we can change. So if I tap the screen and stop the recording, um, we can go into some basic settings and then we can change our movie set up and then we have some other change is here that we can uh, uh, that we can set up we can set the time and we can set our reverse mirror by touching the screen and doing various setups we're not going to do that and we can also have a split screen so we can see what's happening in the front and also in the rear so in terms of the setup with this it took it's taken me literally 15 minutes to get all this set up and plug in this here is our GPS receiver it uses that for speed so you can see how fast you're going so if I tap the screen I can um, let's go off this bit screen if I tap the screen again I can oh, actually I don't tap the screen if I go on here you can see I can show my speed up on the um, display so we're gonna take the car for a little drive and we're gonna see how this looks like um, in reality um, I'm not gonna be able to show you that on film because obviously I'm on the drive but what you will see is the footage from the car so let's take a look and um, and then we can um, compare and watch on a video now one of the good features I like about this camera is the fact that it records both front and back so the rear view camera is your rear view mirror but it also is a camera that records activity so if someone hits you from behind you're going to have the evidence to show what happened at that time as well as the front um, camera to show you again what's happened now there are some dash cams that are available on the marketplace that offers you this but to have it all in one package as well as a rear view mirror is quite unique and um, good looking at the footage this was recorded around 4 p.m ignore the date and time because it wasn't set up for this preview but it was about 4 p.m when i recorded this which is fairly dark in the uk in winter time and yet the camera gives quite good light um i haven't done a night shot but if you look at some other videos on youtube with uh, boss cams um, cameras the night shot vision i'm sure is pretty good now i'm going to be long term in this for a while just to see how it performs and I'll be doing some motorway runs on it as well so I'll give you an update in the weeks to come to see how we perform but my initial um, response is that it's a pretty good setup now another thing you can do with this is we can set up your reverse line switches so by going on the screen like that with two fingers you can see the reversing switches and then you can set where you need them to come so where am I very close to the car? And then I can also also um, zoom out as well. So if I want to make that a little bit bigger, I can do so. But that's quite a neat, handy, handy um, thing to have as well. So I thought I'd just show you that very briefly that you can actually have your reversing angles and uh, where the back of your vehicle also comes. Okay, so there is some fine tuning that needs to be done on that camera, but just from my initial impression, it's a pretty good camera. Now, I'm not being sponsored by Boss Cam, so don't think that this is a biased view. This is totally out of the box experience, um, and then taking it out on the road and setting it up. And I set that up within 15 minutes and then had it running. So it's a pretty good setup, and it's a really easy do it yourself setup. The instructions are very clear. They take you through the whole process and using it, you couldn't be simpler. The minute you plug it in and it, you turn on the ignition, it starts recording. So you don't even have to worry about that. All you need to make sure is that it's got a memory card in there with sufficient enough space for it to record and it does over record um, any old data. So pretty good setup. If you want any more, any, if you want to know any more information, check our Amazon store below where you can buy it. I think it's about 109 pound. Pretty good value for money in terms of what you're getting and there are a number of features that we didn't uh, cover like i said we will be doing a long-term review of this product so we'll be seeing how 
it bears up in terms of uh, daily use as I use it on my daily run to work. Good, okay, so that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this midweek update. Tell me what you think about these little reviews, these product reviews, because it's something that, uh, you know, obviously I get quite asked quite a lot about from consumers, but I wanna make sure that you guys are enjoying it. So give us some comments below whether you feel we should have more of these or less of this, or what kind of products do you think we should be reviewing? Comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe down below and share this video if you can and give us a thumbs up as well um, because it helps us in our channel. Good, so we will see you on the weekend or Monday rather. We will be releasing another video as always and join us then. Have a good rest of the week.